Hi guys, welcome to Football Lions. In fact, guys, Kaisado agent traveled to United States, and this is the message, guys. Moses Kaisado agent recently made a 24-hour trip to America to hold a meeting with Brighton, as revealed. Was always likely in hope of a breakthrough. Was made a clear Kaisado won CFC. Brighton start to their position by talks term positive. Chelsea intend to buy it again. So guys, Kaisado agent traveled to United States to try and convince Brighton for them to lower the 100 million asking fee they place on Kaisado. But Brighton still remain in that position. They are selling Kaisado 100 million. And if not 100 million, Kaisado is not leaving. Guys, after the talks with Kaisado agent. So Chelsea is also ready to buy it again. Yes, but Chelsea is not ready to meet the 100 million, the asking price Brighton wants. And will Chelsea get Kaisaido? The way things are now going. Well, when you look at this transfer, in fact, Brighton is pushing, trying to squeeze Chelsea to get what they want, the 100 million. Brighton wants the 80 million, but they are trying to see because they know very well that Chelsea is in demand of midfielder. And Kaisado is a good player, everything we would like to have. So they are using this advantage to squeeze Chelsea to get that 100 million. Yes, they are trying to see whether at the end of the transfer window, Chelsea can change their mind and come back and pay the 100 million. If Chelsea keep on their decision and link to other alternatives, at the end, Brighton will accept the 80 million. For me, that is my thought, guys. So I have the hope that at the end, Chelsea will get Kaisaido because it will be very difficult for Brighton to keep an happy player. Because Kaisaido make it clear that he wants the move. He wants to join Chelsea this summer. So it will be very difficult for Brighton to keep him. So Brighton, they are trying to be patient and see whether at the end Chelsea can change their mind and bring the 100 million. Yes. So that is my thought on the transfer. And the other way around, I'm thinking that Different team from somewhere may come out and pay the 100 million. That is my thought again. So maybe that is why Brighton is holding that until that 100 million. Maybe different team from somewhere can just appear and accept that they will pay the 100 million for Kaisado and take Kaisado away from Chelsea. Because Kaisado is a good player, everything would like to have him in their midfield. So that is my thought also. In the ending of the transfer window, a team can just appear from somewhere and pay the 100 million and take Kaisaido away from Charles. So maybe this is why Brighton is holding the deal, knowing very well that even if Chelsea do not pay the 100 million, other teams are there. They can come and pay the 100 million, like Ugati deal. We could not pay the money uh, Ugati team want and PSG pay it. So guys, that is my other thought. And my other mind is telling me that we may not get Kaisaido at the end if we don't pay the 100 million. So guys, let me hear from you. Do you think Chelsea should pay the 100 million or look for other alternatives and other defensive midfielders? Guys, let me hear from you. And just now, approach other midfielders, maybe to replace Kaisaido, guys. And this is the midfielders just approach. Just are considering other midfield targets with Leeds United, Tyler Adams and Ajax, Exxon, Alvarez under consideration. So guys, these are the two midfielders Chelsea are considering to see they can sign maybe to replace Kaisaido. Tyler Adams from Leeds United and Alvarez from Ajax. And when you look at Adams, in fact, Adams comparing him to our current midfielders, I would say almost the same. And even compare Adams to Enzo Fernandez, I will pick Enzo Fernandez over Adams. Yes. So, for that matter, Chelsea should go for a midfielder who had the experience. Yes, and maybe little ahead of the current midfielders that we have. Because this is Chelsea. We need to be competing, possibly win the league or top four. So we need a player who has the ability, who has the accuracy. Yes. So, Tyler Adams and our midfielders. Almost the same. Santos and even 
Fernandez, as I said, I will pick him over Adams. So, for me, I will not choose Adams for Chelsea. I'm not ready to do that because I want Chelsea to sign a player who had the experience, maybe a little ahead of our current midfielders. So, Adams coming to Chelsea, for me, I will not choose him. But Adams is a good player. He's a good player. But every team and the type of players they should sign. And Alvarez from Ajax coming to Chelsea. In fact, Alvarez is 25 years of age. Yes, he is 25 years of age. And this is the second time Chelsea approached him. Last summer, Chelsea approached him. And that time, he was on form of his life. Yes. But currently, as we are speaking, he is not on form compared to that season, Chelsea approaching the first time. But Alvarez coming to Chelsea, I would say maybe he's little ahead of Adams and little ahead of Santos. But comparing him and Fernandez, I would say 50 50. Yes, comparing Alvarez and Enzo Fernandez, I would say 50 50. So if we don't get Kaisaido, I think we can get Alvarez to replace him because Alvarez is very good in terms of defending and Alvarez also have that experience in fact he has seen it a lot playing in the Champions League every season being aggressive good in interceptions Alvarez can play he can come to Chelsea but that should happen in case we don't get Caicedo yes but if we get Caicedo no need for us to go for Alvarez again and even if they put Alvarez and Caicedo down for Chelsea I will pick Kaisaido. So I will let Kaisaido to come more than Alvarez. But in case we don't get Kaisaido, we don't have anything to do. We have to attend to other options. And Alvarez can play. He's good. He's good, as I said. He had the experience. He has seen it a lot. Play in the Champions League every season. In fact, he's a very good player in Ajax. He's a very good player in Ajax. So guys, let me hear from you. Just link up to Adam from Leeds and Alvarez from Ajax, guys. So let me hear from, should just go for Adams or should just go for Alvarez? Let me hear your opinion on that, guys. And Dusan Volovic asking price reveal, guys. Juventus reveal Dusan Volovic asking price. And this is the information. From Fabrizio, Juventus insists on Volovic plus Lukaku Sua about 140 million fee from Chelsea. Chelsea is still discussing on Volovic internally. So guys, that is the information. In fact, Juventus came out with the asking price. Juventus won 40 million plus Lukaku before Chelsea can get Dozan. And Chelsea haven't made a decision whether they should sign Dozan or not. Chelsea is still discussing that internally, guys. So Juventus, they are ready to let Dozan go if Chelsea will bring the 40 million plus Lukaku. So very soon, or by the end of this week, Chelsea may come up with their final decision. So guys, let me hear from you. Should just go for Dusan or Nicolas, Nkunku, and Bruja are enough for Chelsea, guys. Let me hear from you. And let me hear your opinion and your thought in all the transfer that we discussed, guys, under the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe and like this video to go far. Take care. Peace.